Today we are touring Round Rock, Texas, one of the hottest suburbs. Feels like everyone's moving here all the time, about 30 minutes north of Austin. If you're wanting to see Round Rock rather than just hear people talk about it, you clicked on the right video. I'm here with my team for my brokerage. If I get hit by a car, I want it on video. <laughs> and we're going to show you what it's like to live, eat, sleep, breathe, play in Round Rock, Texas, including some homes, some neighborhoods, some parks, some restaurants. So stay tuned. downtown area is gorgeous. You have your candy shops, you have your tattoo parlors, you have your country dancing bars, you have other types of bars, you have libraries, you have all these nice old timey places and it's a gorgeous atmosphere. Ty, what are you snacking on? Rock candy, baby. Oh yeah, what else did you buy? Coke bottles. Coke bottles, what bottles else? Two bottles of root beer. Two bottles of root beer? Yeah. I think the candy shop. Oh, took about a week off my life. <laughs> Nobody cares. So Caleb, tell us about this place right here. All right, Long Branch Saloon. It's a hangout spot for the nightlife in the area. It's country, they've got country dancing, live music, um, and some great food. Right on. So if you're coming to Round Rock and you're into Sugar Daddies, but you're not into older men, Sugar Daddies, <laughs> Long Girl might be the perfect place for you. Live music, great food, DJs, everything you could want. At the time of shooting, it's February 2021, where it should be cold. Today it's 65 degrees. I'm actually getting a little hot in this. So that tells you just how nice the winters are here. Sure to tap the like button it helps us grow a whole lot and comment down below what areas do you want to see what questions do you have we'd love to get involved and talk with you guys and have some video ideas for the future so this is the east side of round rock and a lot of farmland that has not been developed yet um, over here it's starting to get developed the sky there's actually 55 up 55 plus community up here. They take care of landscaping, they plan events, they have their own private event planner, uh, a bunch of communities uh, like events there. So that's great. Um, and the farmland right behind it, uh, which will be developed eventually. But I actually moved a couple people in here, they love it. So right here in this area in Round Rock is kind of the central hub of everything you could want to do around here. You obviously have downtown Round Rock, which is plenty, plenty of things to do there. You're just down the road from 
Lake Travis, whatever you want to do on Lake Travis, any outdoor activities, paddleboarding, canoeing, boating, you know, whatever you like. You're also 25 minutes away from downtown Austin, which you've got six streets, restaurants, bars, museums, and so anywhere you want to go from here, you have just about every option you can possibly think of. So from this area right here, you've got one exit away is Texas 130, major toll road, new, I mean, really easy to drive on getting from, you know, wherever you need to go. About 10 minutes away from here, you have I-35. And in this area, probably, you know, within driving distance everywhere, you've got an HEB, outlet mall, plenty of shopping centers, every major restaurant chain you can think of, just about anything you could possibly want to do all within driving distance from here. So it's going to vary between West Round Rock and East Round Rock. East Round Rock, 350 can buy you a 2,000 square foot home or anything, anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. 2,000 to 3,000 square feet, you're looking in between four to 500 um, thousand. And so like these right here, base used to be 300, now it's around 350. Um, but you're looking in between 350 to 500 for these homes right here. Um, and this is East Round Rock. So West Round Rock is gonna be a little bit more expensive. So what I was telling you guys, the, the way that I normally sell Round Rock to people is the location, especially East Round Rock, because you've got an affordable budget and it's the central of everywhere in Austin. You can get to south, like downtown Austin, which is south of here. You can get to West Austin where the lakes are. And you can get to go north to Georgetown where you've got parks, uh, more open, it's, it's just a more open scenery. You've got Blue Hole there. You've got downtown Georgetown, which they have a they have the Poppy Festival, Red Poppy mm -hmm. Festival, which is awesome. Uh, downtown Round, Round Rock has festivals. So there's and all of this Live is music, within bands. all of this is within 30 minutes. You're not going to ever be traveling further than 30 minutes to get to any of these things. So it's good. this is the dividing line right here that they're gonna everyone's gonna want to be in Round Rock ISD, even though this is still Round Rock. It's just in Hutto ISD. So this actually, this is in the Round Rocks uh, ISD, which is a better rate school rating. And then this is the Hutto ISD. And the price difference from a house over here, the exact same house for the house over here, same builder, same house, is about 30 grand difference just because Ooh. this is the school line. All right, Dell Diamond right here to our right. Um, awesome baseball baseball games that go on there. It's also a mass old settlers park. It's huge. I think it's a couple thousand acres. They've got tennis courts. Um, they've got pickup soccer, uh, soccer games. They have full soccer fields out there. Uh, water, they even have a water park out there actually. Slow pitch they've, got softball. A little, they've got a little water park, water, water park out there. Slow pitch softball. Oh, that was actually the place for Pokemon Go. Hundreds of people out there. <laughs> I caught my, uh, I caught my first Snorlax, so. You got that was Snorlax? exciting. Yeah, I got a Snorlax out there. All I got was rat attack. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Kalahari. It was completed about four months ago. It's got a resort, largest indoor water park in the world. It's got an outdoor area for live concerts, an outdoor bar. It's got an outdoor pool with a pool bar, shopping centers, fantastic bowling restaurants, alley. bowling alley, indoor arcade. And obstacle courses, obstacle courses, escape rooms, and to get in to the facility itself, it's free of charge. 
the only thing that costs to get in is the water park. But once you're in Kalahari, you can do anything you want. And this is pretty much a little slice of Vegas without all the downsides of Vegas. Use your imagination. <laughs> Whatever happens at Kalahari, <laughs> comes out of Calahari Yeah, too. whatever happens, <laughs> it, that, that, that phrase does not apply to, Cal, to, Cal, to Calahari. Anything you want to find here in Kalahari, you can find it in Round Rock, The probably one of the best things to do in Round Rock. All right, we are in Forest Grove. This is East Round Rock. Um, this is actually in the Forest Creek and Forest Ridge School District, which is their great schools. These are a lot bigger sized homes and they range from, I'd say anywhere from five to 800 thousand right now as it stands um, but you're looking in between like a three thousand to five thousand square foot house all right another great thing about round rock that i forgot about is there's about seven golf courses in uh i think it's like a seven mile rate it might be a five mile radius right in east round rock there's seven different golf courses you can go to so if golf is your thing uh that's something you like which i do i'm not i'm not any good but i, I, I like to hit the ball <laughs> um, <laughs> Putt-putt. Yeah, putt-putt, there you go. Uh, and there's great, there's some putt-putt here, but uh, yeah, seven golf courses in w 10 minutes of each other. So that's something to think about. Isn't that right, Ty? Ty Ty's a top golf guy. I'm more of a top golf and slow pitch kind of guy. <laughs> like whenever I'm golfing, I just want to see how far I can hit it. Yep. <laughs> Man. I'm glad you got to meet the guys, Caleb and Ty. They're some of the best damn realtors I've met. They're absolute soldiers, they get it done. They love what they do, we all love what we do. So that was our little vlog tour of Round Rock, Texas, giving you an idea of what's out there. You know, Round Rock is a great place to live. Great schools, lots of jobs, affordable living, a lot of bang for your buck. 
Just further north, you have your chains, you have your outlet mall, you got your HEB. Round Rock has everything, great schools, things to do. Not too close to downtown, but not too far. But if it's not right for you, let us know. There's a lot of areas in Austin. It's always growing, it's always developing. We can help you find any area you want specific to your needs. We get calls all the time from people needing to move here and relocate, and we absolutely love it. So if you're someone who's wanting to find uh, the right neighborhood, the right schools, whatever it is you need for your lifestyle, we've got your back with moving to Austin, Texas. But you've got to reach out. Days, nights, weekends, call, text, email. We would love to help out. Consider subscribing. We put out weekly videos, including vlog tours like today. So stay tuned for the next video. Check out our other ones. And until then, We'll catch you later.